Today, we're diving into some exciting details about the upcoming Apple iPhone 17 Pro, specifically its cooling system, which could seriously boost performance during heady use. So here's the scoop. The iPhone 17 Pro is rumored to come with the new A19 Pro chip, which is expected to deliver a nice bump in power. But with more power comes more heat, and that's where Apple's revamped cooling system comes in. Now, if you've ever noticed, even the current iPhone 16 Pro struggles a bit under heavy load. Testing shows its GPU performance can drop by nearly 40% during long gaming sessions or intense tasks, which is a big deal if you're a gamer or someone who pushes their phone hard. According to leaker Majin Buu official, Apple is planning to tackle this with a completely overhauled cooling setup featuring a vapor chamber, a tech that's been standard in many high-end Android phones for years now. What's cool is that Apple's vapor chamber seems pretty large and is likely designed to cover not only the processor, but also important parts like memory and modem chips. This means heat can be dispersed much more efficiently. For those who don't know, vapor chambers work by circulating a liquid that evaporates when heated and then condenses elsewhere, basically spreading the heat faster and better than traditional copper heat sinks. This upgrade is crucial because the new A19 Pro chip apparently runs hotter than its predecessor, the A18 Pro. Plus, the vapor chamber will also cover the camera module, helping keep sensors cool during long video recordings. That should reduce image noise and prevent overheating, which is a smart move. Overall, this cooling revamp means better sustained performance during gaming, video editing, AI workloads, and basically anything that makes your phone sweat. What do you think about Apple finally adding a vapor chamber to the iPhone? Will this help the iPhone 17 Pro stay ahead in the performance game? Let me know your thoughts down below. Today, we're diving into the latest buzz and leaks about Apple's next big thing, the iPhone 17 series. With four models expected, the iPhone 17, 17 Air, 17 Pro, and 17 Pro Max, many of you are probably wondering, is it really worth upgrading from the iPhone 16 or older? Well, let's break down everything we know so far, as of mid-June, about the Pro and Pro Max models, which are shaping up to be the real stars of the show. What's the hype about? About eight months ago, a well-known tech blog, Apple Hub, gave us an early peek at the specs. According to their sources, the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max will come with a completely revamped design. Think a much more pronounced camera bump, new frame machining, and a switch from titanium to aluminum for the body. The Pro Max is said to be the biggest structural redesign we've seen in years, rocking a 6.9-inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate and a slick titanium design. 12 major upgrades to watch out for. Here's a quick rundown of the rumored highlights for the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max, also confirmed by other tech insiders like Jason C. from Phone Made Simple and McRumors. Sleek aluminum and glass body. Bold new camera bump design a fresh new sky blue color option, bigger battery on the Pro Max, the powerful new A19 Pro chip, Apple's first Wi-Fi 7 support, a 24MP front camera, say goodbye to grainy selfies, a 48MP telephoto lens for stunning zoom shots, ability to record video simultaneously from the front and rear cameras, support for 8K video recording, a hefty 12GB RAM for smooth multitasking, new vapor chamber cooling system to keep things chill. And there's talk about some exciting extras like a mechanical variable aperture for better photos in any light, a smaller refined dynamic island, promotions 120 hertz refresh rate coming to every model. When can we get our hands on it? Apple's annual iPhone launch event is expected in early to mid-September 2025, likely around the 9th or 10th. Pre-orders should open that Friday with the phones hitting stores shortly after. What about the price? Pricing rumors suggest the Pro Max will start north of $1,199 in the US, with tariffs possibly pushing it even higher. Some estimates say as much as $1,700 to $2,300 plus. In India, leaks suggest base iPhone 17 around $89,900 INR iPhone 17 Air around R is 95,000 INR. Pro Max coming in at around 164,900 INR. So should you upgrade? That's the million dollar question. With all these rumored upgrades, the iPhone 17 series definitely looks tempting. But if you're someone who prefers to hold on to their iPhone for three years or more, 
maybe it's worth waiting and seeing how the new features perform in real life. All right, that's what we know so far. Are you excited about the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max? Or do you think it's just incremental upgrades? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and price for each model in the range to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now and we'll dive right in. First up, we have the iPhone 17. The standard iPhone 17 comes with a 6.1-inch Super Retina OLED display, and for the first time ever, it'll feature a 120Hz LTPO display. The resolution is 1179x2556 and it's protected by the next-gen ceramic shield. It also boasts a peak brightness of around 3,000 nits. The iPhone 17 features the new and improved Face ID sensor, which could allow Apple to shrink the size of the dynamic island. The selfie camera is also getting an upgrade with a 24MP front-facing camera. On the rear, you'll find a dual camera setup with a 48MP primary and a 48MP ultra-wide camera. The iPhone 17 is powered by the A19 chipset, comes with 8GB of RAM, and offers up to 1TB of storage. It's powered by a 3600 mAh battery with an upgrade to 45 baby fast charging. This model also comes with 5G Advanced, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, and NFC. It'll ship with iOS 19 and is expected to launch from around $850 in mid-2025. Next we have the iPhone 17 Air. The iPhone 17 Air is replacing the Plus model and comes with a 6.6-inch Super Retina LTPO OLED display with a resolution of 1290x2796 and a 120Hz refresh rate. It also offers a peak brightness of 3000 nits and is protected by the next-gen ceramic shield. It's incredibly thin at 5mm making it Apple's thinnest iPhone yet. The front features a 24MP selfie camera inside the dynamic island, and the rear houses a single 48MP camera. The iPhone 17 Air is powered by the A9 chipset, has 8GB of RAM, and offers up to 1TB of storage. The battery capacity is 4,700 mAh with 45 BU fast charging. Just like the iPhone 17, it supports 5G Advanced, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, and NFC, and will ship with iOS 19. It's expected to launch from around $950 in mid-2025. Now let's look at the iPhone 17 Pro. The iPhone 17 Pro features a 6.3-inch 120Hz LTPO OLED display with a resolution of 1206x2622 and a peak brightness of around 3000 nits. It's also protected by the next-gen ceramic shield. Despite early rumors, this model will keep the dynamic island. The front camera is upgraded to a 24MP selfie camera, and on the rear you'll find a 48MP primary camera, 48MP ultra-wide camera, and a 48MP periscope camera, along with a LiDAR scanner. The iPhone 17 Pro is powered by the 2NEM A19 Pro chipset, comes with 12GB of RAM, and offers up to 1TB of storage. The battery capacity is 3,600 mAh with an upgraded 50 Dewey fast charging. It also supports 5G Advanced, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, and NFC, and will ship with iOS 19. The price for the iPhone 17 Pro starts at $1,050 and is expected to launch in mid-September 2025. Finally, we have the iPhone 17 Ultra. The iPhone 17 Ultra boasts a 6.9-inch 120Hz LTPO OLED display with a resolution of 1320x2868 and a peak brightness of 3000 nits. It's also protected by the next-gen ceramic shield. Like the other models, it keeps the dynamic island and features a 24MP selfie camera. The rear camera setup includes a 48MP primary, 48MP ultra-wide, 48MP periscope, and the LiDAR scanner. The iPhone 17 Ultra is powered by the 2NEM A9 Pro chipset, comes with 12GB of RAM, and offers up to 1TB of storage. It features a 4700 mAh battery with 50GB fast charging. It also supports 5G Advanced, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, and NFC, and ships with iOS 19. This model is expected to launch from around $1,250 in mid-September 2025. 
So overall, the iPhone 17 lineup is shaping up to be an exciting release from Apple. There's a focus on chipset improvements and the brand new design. For the first time in years, Apple seems to be really pushing forward with the power of their chipsets and upgraded RAM, offering more versatility. However, given how similar these devices are to their predecessors, I don't think anyone with an iPhone 16 will be rushing to upgrade. But for anyone with an older iPhone or those looking to try out their first iPhone, this will be a great option. There's still some time before the iPhone 17 hits the market in September 2025. But as soon as any new information comes in, I'll share it right away, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing.